Hi, this is Mel Sol at the Phil Ritson Mel Sol Golf School at Pauley's Plantation in South Carolina on a beautiful fall day here today. And I want to talk about trajectory. Now, in my last tip, we talked about hitting the ball nice and high and staying behind the ball through impact, playing the ball a little bit more forward to get the height. What happens if you need to hit it low? Maybe you've got a overhanging branch or maybe you're playing into the wind and you feel like you want to keep it down a little bit not let the wind buffet it around so here we do exactly the opposite the normal ball position for me is about two inches inside my left heel I'm going to move that ball back to just behind center that's automatically going to put my hands a little bit more ahead when I come through not only am I going to make sure I really work my left side but I'm going to shorten my follow through. I'm just going to keep my follow through down and hit like a like a little punch shot. So the, the how high I want to hit the ball will be influenced by the club. If I've got an overhanging branch really low I'm going to take something like a, a five iron. If I just want to hit a punch shot but I still want some trajectory I might take something like an eight iron. So make sure though that again you don't want to flip it you want to make sure that you drive that ball into the ground. So the, slightly back in the stance, there's a nice low driving shot. You can see my follow through is not all the way through, I'm just to there. That's a shot that can save you a lot of shots, particularly out of trouble. So again, go to the range, work on it a little bit. I think once you get comfortable with it, you'll be able to successfully hit that shot on the golf course.